Hello everyone and welcome to RNG University. On tonight's episode, Esper Answers. Basically it's Esper Controls. I found this deck online and I thought, hey, this looks fun. It is not a great deck in any way whatsoever. I don't think there's any reason for this deck to exist other than the fact that it's made of answers for today's meta. So what are we gonna do? If our opponent is aggressive, we got a lot of board wipes, we got a lot of removal. If our opponent's control, we got a few counter spells to kind of pitch in. If our opponent's the sort of the long game uh, domain decks or things like that, we also have Memory Deluge to keep up. Uh, and uh, if we need to win, we have the Wandering Emperor to slowly grind them out. If our opponent is mono blue for whatever reason, if they're still playing that, we got Mirix to kind of uh, overrun them. So that's the idea of the deck. There is no crazy combo, there's no amazing cards in the deck, but it's filled with good cards. Good cards in Esper that are all answers, all removal, all sort of uh, uh, responses to our opponent, and we play our opponent's turn instead of our turn. This is what I used to like about... Uh, magic when we were when, you know when, when modern first came up when uh, there was a lot of cards that started to be good and Jun still hasn't taken over yet this type of deck playlist is what I like to play the most and I think I'll have a good time playing it today and I think you would too if you like that control -y style what I don't have in this deck is a Celestis which is uh, what the deck list did not have and I think it could benefit from that but again I'm gonna try out this deck first uh, let's look at the deck list itself first. We start with four cutdowns. We need to cut things down. There's so many aggros, so many uh, enchantments, so many uh, you know temple plays that we need to get rid of right away. Then we have four make this appear so that we can counter our opponent's spells and four go for the throw for that absolute removal that we need to have. But we also have three, count that, three Shieldress Edict. So we have seven two-mana removal. Children's Edict is great for getting over Ward if our opponent plays like a Graveyard Trespasser or a Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. It's also great for getting rid of Planeswalkers if our opponent plays Planeswalkers. So, uh, you know, Children's Edict is the double-edged, uh, well not double-edged sword, but uh, a double-sided card in that kind of uh, fashion. Right? It's not actually double-sided, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Let's go to 3-drop. Uh, we have 3 Temporary Lockdown. The bane to mono red because we're gonna lock down their entire board and it's an enchantment they can't do anything about it so that is why it's in the deck there's three of that in the deck so you know it might, it might be a miss at some point which is why i thought celestis could be useful but that's the deck list i'm gonna stick with it for now and then we have to dissipate for that absolute counter spell that we need to and this is also there to catch things that might affect in a graveyard or might have effects in a graveyard like a squeed we can either counter that uh and exile it it might also be able to catch like a uh, devious cover-up if our opponents play that kind of slow grindy style well all we need to do is dissipate one devious counter cover up and then the whole game plan gets thrown out the window. We also have three void red, which cannot be countered and destroy any permanent, any non-land permanent. So there's that. Uh, and you know, we are Esper deck, so this is probably the best card, the main reason why anyone wants to play Esper Control. Then we have four Wandering Emperor, because we need to have a win con somewhere. And Wandering Emperor is that uh, you know, um, double effect card where you can use her as a win con or you can use her as a removal. You can use her as both and then win the game anyways. We also have four memory deluge to get us the cards that we need and two sunfall in case our opponent goes wide. We can exile the whole board and then make a big beater to beat our opponent with. And then the land. The land base is insane because we're Esper, we got three colors. So let's look at all the lands. So we have one Agonjo, one uh, Planks, one Ottawara, one Island, and one Swamp. So we don't have Takanuma since all we have is a Wandering Emperor. Takanuma's not really that good in that situation. Then we have Two at Dark Waste and four Deserted Beach. That's our, uh, you know, blue-white land. And then we have uh, two Shattered Sanctum. That's our uh, white-black land. And then we have four Dark Slick Shores, two Shipwreck Marsh, and two Underground River as our... Uh, you know, I gotta scroll over a little bit as our blue black land because we need a lot of blue black uh, the, A lot of the deck is blue black and we got a little bit of blue white uh, White black is probably not as necessary because we got all of these split and we don't actually have fast mana for Black and white yet. We have ping lands, but we don't want to use that many ping lands since the uh, you know the, uh, the mana game is swarm with aggro we also have four Earthing Tower in case we need to, you know, cycle a land. This is a pretty good Trium cycle. And of course, two Mirix to get that good old, uh, long, drawn-out game Wing Con. And if you look at the land number, 27 lands. Lots and lots of lands in the deck. So uh, that is because the Mirix, 
you know, it's a land that's gonna have effects. And because we're control deck, we don't ever want to miss a land drop. We want to be able to hit a land every turn and then cast other spells uh, along with Memory Deluge to get card advantage and then win that way. So that's the whole deck list. Of course, this, I don't think it's the best version of Esper possible just because it doesn't have that special uh, Celestis goodness, but you never know, right? So I, I want to play this out first. And then I want to fine tune it because, like I said, when I first play Esper Control uh, in the Mom meta, that uh, there's a lot of different versions, and there must be a fine tune that uh, can be done. And blah blah blah. I'm gonna stop talking and look at the deck. I'll look at the play. Uh, we have two lands. Go for the throw. Two dissipate. That's all the dissipates in the deck already in our hand, and we have to make disappear. We get to go first, so I don't want to miss a land drop. We have 27 lands. Let's hope I don't. But I'm going to keep this hand because this hand is nice going first. So uh, you, you're supposed to play the Dark Slick Shores early, but because it is an untapped land, I'm going to play the Shattered Sanctum. That way, the next turn, uh, I can have two untapped lands for all the effects that I want to have. We miss land drop already. So, uh, well, we miss a land draw. Let's see if we miss a land drop. Uh, please don't. Please don't. Okay, we don't. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We did not miss a land drop, but it does mean that we have to draw a land every turn to not miss a land drop from this point on, which is pretty scary. Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. Um, so this deck, I think we do want to counter spells. Uh, Make this appear is probably a good enough counter for now. Uh, funny thing about Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, oh, we missed a land already. Funny thing about Phyrexian Flesh Gorger is that we can actually Void Rend it. It does not hurt us. Graveyard Trespass. Alright, there's a land. That's our four lands. Let's see if our opponent plays anything else. Please just play a Shieldry or something. I'm cool with the Shieldry. Oh, thank you. Alright, we're gonna go for its throat, so... Shieldry. I hope you're ready to lose. Let your blade do I'll the I'll take the talking. two. Um, I don't need to go for its throw right now. Do I? Let's do it. Go now I have to make this appear up with a token so that I can counter big spells if I need to. Pretty good. Pretty good. Liliana of the Veil. Well, it's a good thing I have this. Double counter. Deluge. Well, I don't want to lose the Emperor. Let's. He has a removal. Oh, there goes our Emperor. Do we want to save? Nah. So if he pays three to kill the Emperor, we're okay with that. Because that's a lot of mana he's spending on killing the Emperor. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but at the very least, it's not nothing else coming our way. I guess that's and that's what that. happens when you're kind of mana screwed. Underdog. So that is definitely a card that I want to dissipate, but I also want to memory deluge this turn. No, it's fine. Lockdown's pretty good to get rid of the underdog, but... Honestly, I think it's Sunfall. And then we'll get a Shatter Sanctum? Yes. We get our land. We will... We can take that damage. It's totally fine. He's gonna have to play something. Or not. You 
can have it in your graveyard. I, I don't want my turn to be nothing, so that's why I killed it. Liliana of the Veil. All right, so he's gonna plus one and have to discard a card that way. Do I discard my Sunfall? Um, and then I Voyeur End it. That means I trade my Sunfall for a card in its hand. How good is that? Not that bad. Happy to help, but I'm taking the credit when we win. Oh, I should have waited. This isn't how things were supposed to go. I'm tired of your secrets. Yeah, I should have waited. Uh, he might have a different choice. Consider all things considering. I mean, if he blitzed the underdog, that's a whole turn wasted. I don't want to counter that. I'll, I'll take the damage. Just gotta be, be sure I don't click my turn because I want the memory deluge. Uh, not having lands is hurtful. Now I have lands. Do I want two lands so I can bridge to the other memory deluge? Um, hmm. I do have enough removal. But having two lands is dumb because these are good removals. Right? The, the, the only question is will I draw another land in the next two turns? Eh, let's, let's just get two lands. And, of course, we get another Memory Deluge. So if he just want to attack me for 3 every turn, I can take that. Memory Deluge is a pretty good card. Mono Black is interesting. Graveyard Trespasser. See? These are the cards that we got to get rid of. Now he wants to attack me for two. I have a land to play, so there's no reason to do anything else this turn. I don't want to miss a land drop. That's the only thing. Uh, I've missed a land drop a few turns back, so I want to be able to hit a land every turn. And now that I have Memory Deluge in my hand... There's going to be a lot of card draw for me. You can have this. I'm at 10. Looks scary, but not really. Uh, I guess he can corrupt me. That's the only thing, right? But he has 5 lands. So that's only 5 mana for a corrupt. He's getting a lot of draw on the uh, underdog. I do want the Wandering Emperor. Now, do I want a counterspell? Or do I want another land? Ooh, that is... No, I'll draw lands. 27 lands in the deck, I'll draw lands. If this is their end turn, they can't really play anything. I did not draw lands. But that's fine. We have a we have a counter spell and a wandering emperor. What could go wrong? Yep. Much my no card draw for you. My judgment Sacrifice a non-token creature. That's not a token, right? Oh, look at that. You got nothing. Let's put a plus on it. Uh, do I put a plus on it? Let's put a minus. That way I can have a big make disappear if I need it. Yeah, let's put a minus. It's unfortunate we're gonna lose our Emperor for that, but... Let your blade do the talking. One, two, three, four, and I will have three mana left uh, for Make This Appear, and that's it. But I'll hopefully get a land from the Deluge. 
No, let's not do that. Let's hold up our mana. Play on my opponent's turn. Always play on my opponent's turn. See, now if he has a corrupt, we can counter it. If we play the Deluge, we're not going to be able to counter Corrupt if he cut down to 2. Right? No, we, we can still do it. Corrupt costs 6. So to make this appear is on the Corrupt and Corrupt only. Or, what is he going to do? Return 2 creature. Uh, he has 2 creatures to return, so I can't let him do that. I can't let him do that. Another cut down, and let's get the Murex down so we can start doing. Or, not to make this appear, I should say. We'll get the Murex down so that we can start doing things. We actually have a 6 mana counter spell with a Wandering Emperor. Liliana! Okay. A fight? And you think you can win? You won't be outsmarting me. I will discard my Murex. What else would you like to play? Brexian Flesh Forger. Um, you know what? You can have that. Alright, so what am I going to do? I want to void rend the uh, Flesh Gorger. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 mana. So, I guess we're not memory deluging this turn. Uh, this, this is going to be 5, right? We will... Okay. First of all, you sack a Planeswalker. And then, we'll make a Mirror token. Hmm. Let's get rid of it. Resolve. Decline. Can't be countered. Take that, Ward. And uh, why don't you get some little poison on the way? And quit. So yeah, this is kind of the tap off style control deck that I really like to play because our opponent just kind of gives up. Of course they're mono black, so they don't really have much answers to anything we play. But we were also mana screwed in the early game and were able to come back. So that is the effect of having answers in your deck. We don't even have farewells, so it's just sunfall, and I get, got rid of my sunfall because I don't think our opponent's gonna have a big board. Redan. Redam? Opponent goes first. Oh, scary. Okay, now this is... This is the opposite of good. And they're aggro. What do you know? We gotta go for a throw, but they're going first. So... Something, something big's gonna hit my face. Probably a 3-3 three, three Felden or a 2-3... Um, or a 2-2 two, two Chip. All right, and then something? No? Okay. Well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be playing off curve for a while here because we only have three lands, and uh, something scary is probably what our opponent's gonna play. She's been devastated. Wow. Let's go for its throw. It flies. Okay, this is good. We can play two cards now. Not a great two cards, but at least we can play two cards. Unless he wants to play a four drop that we have to count. Well, make this appear counters anyways. So this is what we're gonna do this turn. Yeah. Uh, should we take out the etching or the chick? Uh, Would he get three creatures to attack? Chick is flying. Get rid of the chick. 
Uh, that was a mistake, honestly. Thinking about what's in the deck, uh, only creature we have is Wandering Emperor, and Wandering Emperor will be able to exile the chick anyway, so... I don't think any of that matters. Also, we're not drawing a land there. It really hurts. That's a chick. We're at 10. Yay! Well, <laughs> we have a counter spell and three lands total. Oh, the counter spell caught a good card to counter. So we're gonna go to nine. Got a land. No white mana. Alright, what are they gonna play? Hopefully not another squee. If it's just an attack, I'll take it. I'll go to eight. I need this memory deluge to hit something good. Memory deluge. And then uh lightning strikes to my face. I'm sure it's coming. Yeah. I need. Under Emperor's pretty good, but I'm gonna need lands to actually use it. And I'm at five. I need two white mana, which I don't have. Alright, well, gotta cut this down. Is he just holding a burn spell in his hand? He's not. That's interesting. Well, um, hmm. do I want untapped land? Probably. I don't have any that many light gain cards in the deck, but at least I might be able to get a counter spell somewhere along the line. Oh, we're a five. We're so close to that. Is she even devastated? That's not very good. You gonna quit now? There it is. Explosion time. Who harms my people must I don't know who plays Shivan Devastator in a mono red deck. I did not have fun. We did not have lands, and our opponents play mono red. Even if I won, that was not a fun game because did we even play anything? It was just kind of a dice roll the whole game. I think that's uh, everyone's problem with mono red uh, games is that you're not playing the game; you're just rolling a dice. And we're not here to play crafts, we're here to play magic, where thinking is involved. And if you're playing mono red, it's not the person's fault that the deck does not require any thinking. You just play cards until you have no cards to play. Alright, opponent goes first. We have no counter spells, but this time we have a lot of removal. I think that's good enough on the hand to keep. Copperline Gorge. Uh oh. Huh. That is a. Janky play. But if they're a Power Stone deck, that lockdown is gonna make them mad. Double lockdown. Okay. Double make them mad. Uh, Dark Slick Shore is coming to play on top, so let's do that. I wonder what else is coming. I wonder what this deck is. He's gonna get mana to play a 4 drop. Right? There's no reason to use the blood, it's an extra mana for him. There it is. Will this deck have enchantment removal? Elish Norn. Alright, that's. That's gotta go. Mirrors does not take any damage, right? So let's do that. I wonder if he has a removal. If he doesn't, these are all gone. But if you have the enchantment removal, basically wasted a turn. Alright, he doesn't. I might just cycle that. So let's put a shipwreck marsh down. 
Um, or a dark car waste. A dark car waste. Jet mirror, okay. That's. Uh, let's use three to destroy. The other is more mana efficient. I see we're getting flooded, so this is fine. Now I can edict and draw a card. Knight Aaron without anything, without any combo. Oh, come on. Okay, do I want him to sacrifice a Knight Aaron? Probably. Non-token picture. Wow. Just wow. Well, you know, some days these things happen. Resolute reinforcement. This is just a Jemir deck. Another Night Aaron. It's a pretty good card. Pretty good card for our opponent to top deck, unlike us. Okay, that's not as bad as what I thought it would be. Do I just kill the Night Aaron in case he has another Night Aaron? I mean, does he just have Night Aarons? Uh, we can kill it and then go in for a Toxic. What if he plays Jet Mirror next turn? What if he plays Jet Mirror next turn? Right? Yeah, let's not let's not go crazy. That would be a bad play. I can't block, so anything we're gonna kill it now this looks bad because we took four extra damage just to get additional knowledge and now we have the nothing do we just attack it can't block it's a race against time We'll take the four here. Oh, we have to. I mean, it's not like I have a choice. But he has to play something, right? And oh no, he doesn't play anything, so... Oh, wow. That is... Best draw in the deck. If he has another resolute reinforcement, we just die here, right? Two, three, four, five, six... Can't even counter it. He can pay the exact mana. So yeah, let's uh, let's let's stop all those things from happening. We don't actually have anything to pitch, so we don't have a Celestis. Like I said, would have been pretty useful. Night Aaron. No. You got the one mana. He has a one mana plate. I wonder what it is. I think we drew all the removal, none of the card draws. Yeah. Soak is in. Okay, if we remove that, we go down to... Uh, we take one a turn, we have five turns. They take two a turn, they will have... Uh, they'll have two turns, so this is fine. I need this to kill like a jet mirror or something big. Okay, so I can deal two. Uh, I don't know if there's anything big coming. So, uh, do I lock down this just to be safe? I don't think they have another Sokazin, right? Oh, this is uh, this is such a hard choice right now. This is a terrible top deck. And one, two, three, one, two, and then I have one enough for another Mirix. 
but then I have to wait two turns to win. Whereas in this, probably wins next turn, depending on what he plays. Maybe he has removal. Destroy an artifact? Yeah, you destroy an artifact. Our dumb only land draws. This is what happens when your deck's full of answers, I guess. Well, as for answers, is a pretty fun deck, right? We didn't we didn't drop a single game today, and that's mainly because I'm an amazing Magic player and I can draw the exact cards at the exact time. Uh, not so much because the deck is good, but the deck is good. I don't know what else to say. It, it is a pretty fun deck to play because you always have answers and you just hope that you draw the answer. And I, like I said about the lockdown, I don't think. It's a three off. I think it's a two off, and one should be a Celestis. Uh, other than that, the deck may also need some fine tuning. Uh, the Voirend is good, but maybe not three offs, maybe two offs. And we don't have card draw as much as I like to. But really, if no, no matter what kind of control deck you're playing, you cannot always hope to get the proper card draws at the right time. Because if you have, let's say. Uh, four Memory Delusion, Two Silver Scrutiny, well, what if you have that all in your opening hand? And you just have a dead hand and you lose. So, overall, I would say that this is uh, pretty close to the best version of the Asper Answers deck uh, that currently could be possible in the meta, uh, which is pretty good, right? I do think that this is a fun deck to play. I recommend that you go ahead and try it out whenever you have a chance to. That is all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time.